coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Okay, so why am I not holding coffee? I'm not holding coffee because I went to the doctor, I was sick, I wasn't feeling good, and one of his recommendations was, Miss Coffee Break, you probably want to stop drinking coffee. And I looked at him and I was like, doctor, can I get a referral list for another doctor? Can, <laughs> can I get a second opinion? <laughs> so that is why I'm drinking water. I have to start drinking more water. Obviously it's affecting my health, but I'm here and I'm filming because I am so excited about the haul that I just did that I needed to do a look showing you guys all the stuff that I bought. You guys know I don't like to haul things and just say, I bought this, I bought this, I bought this. I like to say, I bought this and this is how it works. I bought this and I'm gonna return it. You know. I'd like to have some feedback or story behind what I purchased. So you guys just saw yesterday I did a Radiant Orchid haul from all the Radiant Orchid, um, Sephora, and Pantone Universe products. And so I decided to do a full-on all over the face Radiant Orchid tutorial using the products that I bought. So the first product that you guys will see in the tutorial is the Radiant Orchid lipstick. Um, this color is I haven't swatched them side by side, but this is, I want to say, an identical dupe to Brazen Berry from the Maybelline, Maybelline Vivids collection. But I have to swatch them side by side. I'll let you know. Then um, I show you guys how I do my cheeks using the um, cheek palette. And I'm using this blush and this highlight on my face in this tutorial. And then of course, the eye look that I have, I did using this palette. It's like the size of a MacBook. It is heavy and I am so pleasantly surprised with this shadow. If you guys have an extra, or this shadow palette, if you guys have an extra $48 laying around, Get your hands on this palette before it sells out because this is one of the best palettes that Pantone Universe has come out with for Sephora. Normally their eyeshadow palettes are not so good. This palette, amazing. If you like neutrals and you like brights, this is definitely a palette that is super multi-purpose. It has mostly shimmer colors, but it also has matte and they're so, soft and creamy. They're a little powdery, not chalky, they're a little powdery like soft shadows, but they're so pretty, you make them work. Um, look at up how stunning these shadows are. I can't even talk, I'm so excited. <laughs> the camera is not really picking up how bright they are. They're really, really bright, but neutral. They're like happy neutrals. I don't know if you understand, but you'll, you'll see, um, you'll see how they look. Um, as I apply them to my eyelids. So if you guys are interested in learning how to incorporate Radiant Orchid into your makeup routine, or if you're interested in seeing how these Pantone Universe products perform, please keep watching. Okay, it's a little strange, but we're gonna start off doing the lips because my lips are feeling a little chapped. Um, I'm going to take the color magenta from mac and this is a really bright um magenta <laughs> pencil and i'm going to line my lips with this color then we're going to take the sephora and pantone universe um radiant orchid matte lipstick um, and put this over the pencil. The only reason we apply pencil is to prolong the longevity of a lipstick. So if you want it to stay a little bit longer and you guys can tell the color is pretty similar. So you're gonna apply it and then make sure to blend out the lines of the lip liner. There is our radiant orchid mouth. Now we're gonna move on to cheeks. So the cheek palette is very interesting. It looks like this. Um, it is a long rectangular palette. It does have the names on the back, which a lot of um, multi-pan cheek palettes don't. So I really like that. Um, and the three colors in the palette are these. So you basically have the Radiant Orchid blush. It's called Radiant Orchid. And then you have two shimmer highlights. They're called, um, uh, what are they called in this set? I think they're called like um, cheek lusters or something like that. And 
basically what they are, they're highlights for the face, or you could use them on top of the Radiant Orchid blush, which is pretty intense, and then kind of change the color a little bit, make it a little bit more subtle. And so what I'm gonna do is, this is the first time using the palette, you guys can tell it's like brand new. I'm going to start with the Radiant Orchid blush and then kind of um, change the color a little bit so that um, it's not so intense. So I actually kind of like this color. Um, so what I'm going to do now is in this same palette, I'm going to use this middle color as a highlight and see how that looks. And I'm going to apply that to the high points of my cheekbones, the center of my nose, the middle of my forehead, and my chin. The same places I always add a highlight. Oh wow, this highlight is really pretty. Look at that. It kind of reminds me of Mary Luminizer, except it's a little bit more warm. Mary Luminizer is more of like a pearly silver highlight, and this one has a little bit of a pinkness to it, which makes sense because of the Radiant Orchid. Um, I'm really liking this. If you guys um, really like highlighters, you're definitely going to like... Um, you're definitely going to like this palette. And I think it's like $28. So um, it's definitely not um, too out of the price range when you're getting a full-size blush and two different highlighters. So I definitely like the highlighter. It's really pretty. It kind of mellowed out the blush a little bit. Um, so now let's move on to eyes. Okay, for the eyes, we're gonna need several brushes and a lot of shadows. This is a look that I got from the Radiant Orchid booklet that comes with the eyeshadow palette. And you guys saw this palette in my haul. It's pretty massive. I mean, it's a huge palette. It's so stunning. It has so many different colors. I honestly didn't think I was going to like it because um, the shadows from Pantone and Sephora are typically not very good. Um, the colors are stunning. The presentation is always really pretty, but the actual shadows kind of suck when you actually try them. So when I saw this palette, I was like, oh man, it's going to be another letdown, but it's so pretty, I need to have it. Well, I swatched them, and they are phenomenal. They are a little powdery, but they aren't powdery because they're poor quality. They're really powdery because they're those really, really soft shadows. They have like almost so much color that they're like uh, really, really, really powdery. Not dusty, chalky, but just crumbly, you know, they're soft. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first color right here in the palette. This is going to be so hard to show you. I'm going to take this color and I'm going to apply it from the top of my brow all the way down to my eyelid. Everywhere. Basically cover your entire canvas and you guys are going to be able to see all the shadow kind of fluffing around everywhere. It is a really soft shadow. The good thing is that it's a light color, so I'm not, you know, going to ruin my makeup or anything. So just apply this all over from the top of your brow to your eyelid. And I'm just using my e.l.f. $1 shader brush that I use for everything in life. <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to dip it into the darkest color of this quad. And we're basically working just out of these four colors. So I'm going to use this chocolate color. And I'm sorry if it's a little bit blurry. I don't have autofocus, so I know it may be a little blurry at times. Um, a really good tip with this eyeshadow palette is shake your brush off really well. So kind of pack on the color and then tap it off. And you should be fine. And then you're going to take the this dark chocolate brown and you're going to apply it to your lash line and your lower lash line. So basically kind of outline your eye with this dark chocolate color. And we're going to do this several times throughout the look to kind of reinforce the color. If you guys notice over here, it doesn't look that it doesn't look that obvious. It looks almost like a blended out eyeliner, and that's the look we're going for. For the lower lash line, you want to be really careful because you don't want to end up looking like a panda. So we're going to add that color there. Then we're going to go into the uh, this copper color right here. 
that one and we're going to um, apply that in the crease with a fluffy blending brush again add the color and then tap off the excess and we're going to focus that right on the crease windshield wiper motions and also circular motion so kind of back and forth swirling it around and if you guys can tell in the final look you can't really see this copper color it's basically just to give your eye depth so back and forth, windshield wiper motions and circular motions. Then we're going to go down the palette to this center color right here, and we're going to add it to that same blending brush um, and then apply that slightly above the crease. This is kind of just to soften out the look a little bit so that it's not such a so the crease is not so harsh. Now comes the fun part. We're going to dip our brush into the color of the year, the biggest shadow in the palette, Radiant Orchid, and we're going to apply that on two thirds of the eyelid from the center of the eyelid, right about here and outward. Just go up to the crease, but don't go beyond the crease. Gently pack that color in. Go, again, go into the color again if you need to, if you feel like it's not dark enough, and then pack on that color. And then you're going to take any other clean brush that you have, and you're going to dip it into this really shimmery, sparkly pink right here. And that's basically going to go in the outer, or in the inner third of our eyelid, right here, and our um, inner corner. So this is gonna be our inner corner highlight. It's a really pretty color, but it's so crumbly. It reminds me of that uh, color. What's the name of that color? In the Naked 3 palette, do you guys remember that um, color in the Naked 3 palette that is just completely glittery and like chunky? Same. It's almost the same color in this palette and the same consistency. So we have the Radiant Orchid, we have the Sparkly Pink. Um, I'm gonna go in again and just re-emphasize that Radiant Orchid. Then I'm going to take that pencil brush one more time and I'm going to dip it into the chocolate brown and I'm going to re-emphasize the lower lash line. I'm sorry, the lash line, not the lower lash line. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of that dark brown and I'm going to apply that kind of uh, sloppily on the outer V just like that and whatever is left on my blending brush is going to blend out that dark chocolate that we just added and it'll just soften everything and kind of wrap it up together bring it all together tie it with a bow and you'll be good to go oftentimes when I do blending like right now I'll blend out the lid color too much and then you kind of have to go back in and reapply the lid color like you could see right here the radiant orchid isn't showing up too much so I'm just gonna take a little bit more and reapply that to the lid And that's it for the eyeshadow. I'm going to um, curl my lashes and apply mascara and I'll be right back. So what do you guys think? I actually really like this look. So I just did the haul on these products because I just purchased them. I have never used them before. So even though this is a tutorial, it's also a first impression. And I would totally leave the house looking like this. I would totally do, I never thought I would say that Radiant Orchid eyes, cheeks, and lips would fly, but it actually looks really pretty. Um, the eyes, only have almost like a hint of Radiant Orchid, you know, like the pink almost, or the Radiant Orchid kind of blended out, and it's more of like a neutral eye. Um, the dark shadow around the lashes really helps um, kind of make this look a little bit more sultry. And the cheeks, if you blend it out really well, it's not so dramatic. You don't have to do it as intense as I have it. And then I also have bronzer on, so that make it, may make it look a little bit darker. Um, but look, even the highlight, isn't that a stunning highlight? That's a $28 palette, two highlights and a blush. It's a really good deal, especially because it's actually good quality. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, with powder products, it's hit or miss, but I mean, look, here is the blush and then the highlight, and it looks really, really pretty. Um, the lipstick is a little bit more 
pink, not so purple, um, just by itself. That's why I added the Magenta Lip Liner from MAC. Um, I love that lip liner, you guys. If you just fill in your entire mouth and then just put like chapstick or gloss over it, it's so pretty. Um, so I'm really happy with this look. I'd love to know what you guys think. So that is it for this tutorial. I really hope you guys will find a cool and creative way to incorporate Radiant, Radiant Orchid into your spring and summer. Well, it is the color of the year. Um, so I'd love to see what you guys come up with. And like I told you guys, Radiant Orchid is very versatile. It's it's kind of up to your interpretation. Some people consider this Radiant Orchid, other people consider this Radiant Orchid. I've seen some tutorials where the Radiant Orchid is more of like a fuchsia, like a hot pink. So it's really up to you how comfortable you feel with it, which um, colors, warm, cool undertones you prefer. It's totally up to you. So I really hope you guys will start incorporating this color into your looks. And as always, if you guys found this video useful or entertaining or learned something, give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys!